five people. It's your daddy loves you five minutes. See, you don't want to find industry. And today we're going to be doing a guide page. Now, before we hop into this page, uh, I just want to touch on posture. My client, which is my little cousin, he has the worst posture in the world. He don't constantly see me push up his shoulders and push up his head because his posture is so bad. I just wanted to let people know, like, it's okay to tell your client, you know, you got to sit up, you got to sit right. It's okay to position them because however your client sit, whatever they do, is going to affect the fade. My little cousin, you know, he likes to sit slump. He likes to sit crooked. You're going to constantly see me spin him around. His lineup is going to look crooked because he's sitting like this all the time. So, you know, just kind of kind of bear with me on it. Um, the reason I call it the guy fade is because the transition from the ball to the hair is just flawless. So, I'm excited about this. Let's get on with it. All right, so to kick this one off, of course, we start by combing the client hair down, laying everything in place. So right here, we're going with the wall seniors. They all the way closed. These aren't zero gaps, so they don't cut as close. So we went in um, against the grain with the one on it all the way closed. And just in case y'all don't know what against the grain is, it just means that you are cutting in the opposite direction. I just fixed this posture, as you can see. It's cutting in the opposite direction of which the hair grows or the hair lays. So um, I'll get into it further in another video. But right now, I'm taking my wall five-star detailer. And we're just going to set our ball guideline. I come in with my wall seniors. These aren't zero gaps. So when I do put my first guideline in, I'm going to lay it in about a half an inch. But I'm going to come back again and I'm going to widen it to an inch because these aren't zero gaps. So they don't cut as close. So it wasn't giving me, like, you know, the desired look. So I close it right there. Close it just a little bit, maybe like halfway. So it could give me, you know, what I'm looking for. third guideline we're gonna go in with the one and i want to say this one is closed yeah it's closed all the way closed Right here, I'm just showing you the line that we're going to fade on in. And we got the zero on there. We're going to go with the zero all the way close. All right. And as y'all can see, I got to raise this head up again. Uh, we're going in with no guard on it. And it's all the way close. We're just knocking out that bottom line which was made from the ball guideline to the no guard open. So we're just gonna knock that one out and get this fade all the way finished. So like I told y'all in the beginning, my um, walls, seniors, they not all the way zero gap. So um, it wasn't taking out the bottom line like I needed it to. So I just retreated to my Andy's masters cause they all the way zero gap. And so we're gonna just get the bottom line out with that.
right here, we're gonna go in with our razor. You know, do the little razor work. Like I had told y'all before, you kinda gotta teach yourself how to use the razor. Uh, when I was in school, my teacher, well, my instructor, they made us practice on balloons, like with water filled up in it. So, um, just like get you a balloon and practice your gliding motions. And like, if you pop the balloon, obviously that would mean that you didn't cut your client. So just practice with the razor. Don't be scared of the razor. Like the razor, you definitely need that razor if you want to be in the barbershop. So yeah, do that. 